concept here is the contraction procedure. When, when we perform a contraction procedure, we reduce the sum of order of the inputs by two. Consider that the, or the dot product, the other name is the dot product, or the contracted product, or the inner product. You know how to compute the inner product of two vectors. If you uh, uh, perform the contraction product between two, the two vectors, uh, this, uh, the order of the vector is one. Another, the other vector is one. The sum of orders of inputs is two. The contracted product reduces the sum of orders by two. So the order of result is a zero. The order of the result of the contracted product of two vectors is a scalar. Or the order is zero. Again, if you uh, perform a dot product of a vector and a matrix, the order of vector is one, the order of matrix is two, the sum of orders is three, and when you perform the contracted product, the order of the result is three minus two or unity. The dot product of two matrices. Again, the uh, order of the matrix is 2, again 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 4 minus 2 is 2. So, the result of two, uh, the dot product of two matrices is again a matrix. This is, uh, uh, this is uh, exactly the same as uh, the common product of two matrices. You know how to pro uh, pro uh, multiply two matrices. The first law is multiplied to the first column. Uh, the first row of the first matrix is multiplied by the first column of the second matrix, and so So the, uh, the common product of two matrices is um, re really a contracted product of them. And the result is uh, another matrix. Um, the other concept is double, double contracted product. Similar to the previous section, if you perform the double contracted product of two matrices, the order, the sum of order of these two uh, inputs has to be four, because the double contracted product, product reduces the sum of orders by four, two, uh, two, two, four. So we have to have here the two matrices at least, because the sum is four, four minus four is zero, and we don't have negative um, orders. You see, the minimum uh, order of a quantity is zero. We don't have negative orders. So, uh, the double contracted product can be applied only on two matrices. The result is a scalar, which is the trace of the matrix which is obtained using the contracted product. So, when you want to compute the double uh, contracted product of two matrices, you have to first compute the matrix which is resulted from the contracted product and then you compute the trace of that yielded matrix which is a scalar. That is the result of a double contracted product. Similar to the product, contracted product of two periods, we, uh, there is another uh, and uh, there is another well-known product in tensor calculus or vector calculus which is called the dyadic uh, product, or the tensor product, or outer product, or the open product. Uh, it, uh, we show this uh, you know, important uh, product by this symbol. This is a circle and a cross in it. So sometimes uh, we write nothing here, something like this. These two uh, formalisms are equal. But it's common to use this strange symbol. symbol. Okay, uh, the uh, dyadic product of two vectors, A and B, for example, uh, uh, is computed uh, like this, and the result is a second order tensor, or a matrix, or a diet. Uh, you, ha you have to multiply the first component of the first vector to the first component of the second vector, a, x, b, x, here. The first component of that diode or that matrix. Uh, and also the first component of the first vector to the second component of the second 
A, A, X, B, Y. This is the second uh, element of that matrix, and so on. So using two vectors, you can build a matrix using the dyadic product of those two vectors. So uh, dyad is not a, a, a strange, complicated uh, element in vector algebra which uh, we define to frighten you. It's just a, a, a matrix. Dyad is something that is composed of two, uh, two parts that, that can be decomposed into two uh, sections. So uh, you can easily decompose this uh, matrix into two vectors. So this element is composed of two parts, so it's a dyad or a matrix or a second order tensor.